Hi guys, it's Rob from Atlanta Track Club and today we're going to talk about running in the rain. The worst part about running in the rain is definitely getting out the door, but once you're out there, it's usually not as bad as you think and can be quite enjoyable. So we're going to give you a few tips just to help it become that little bit more enjoyable, get you out the door more often and hopefully keep you on track for the goals you've set yourself. The biggest factor in not wanting to exercise in the rain is likely just not feeling prepared, but the chances are you have all the clothing you need at home ready to get you out the door. You want a moisture wicking technical t-shirt, so the exact same thing you would run in the summer because it's gonna take that moisture away from your skin and then let it dry. That's the exact same process that's gonna happen when it's raining. Even if you're soaking wet and it's soaked through, dripping wet, it's still trying to pull that moisture away from your skin. So that's probably the, the most important piece. On top of that, you want some sort of rain jacket. And you have two choices here. You can go fully waterproof or water resistant. Water resistant, it's gonna keep you relatively dry, but eventually the water is gonna make its way through the material. But it is way more breathable. So, as most of the year in Atlanta, that it is relatively warm, even when it's raining, that may be your best bet, versus a fully waterproof jacket. which will keep you dry, but it's not gonna let any of that moisture out at the same time. So you're definitely gonna heat up Maybe just feel a little bit more uncomfortable and sweaty because of that. After your underlayer and your outer layer, probably the next most important thing that's going to really help you just enjoy that run or walk is going to be wearing a hat. Hat is going to keep the rain out of your eyes, especially if it's windy, and it's also just going to keep you warm when it is a little bit colder. Through your head is actually where you lose a good portion of heat during exercise, so just keeping that covered is really gonna help you stay warm. Keeping hold of an old pair of shoes is another big thing that's easy to do, and it'll make that run just a little bit easier because you won't, you won't be jumping over puddles, you won't be avoiding standing water. You really just won't care if your shoes get wet and dirty. I love a new pair of shoes as much as the next person, and I hate to get them wet and dirty and just mess them up before, before they really have to be. So just hold on to an old pair of shoes, Put them in the garage, put them in the closet, wherever it is, and bring them out just on those really rough days. It'll stop you avoiding puddles, and you can really just enjoy the run and not worry about where you're stepping so much. And the worst thing you're going to encounter is a puddle. But at least you can see the bottom of the puddle. You just keep on moving through. Staying to the roads also means you're gonna stay relatively clean and that just makes it a little bit easier when you get home. You're not wiping off mud, banging the mud off your shoes, and just creating more mess you have to clean up. That said, during wet weather is a really good time to get out on the trails, just to try something new, challenge yourself, and work some muscles that you typically wouldn't do when you're running on a, a nice, even, firm surface. And you never know, you might really enjoy it and end up entering some cross country races, some trail races, and just expand your horizon of what you think you can do and what you want to do. It means you will have experienced those exact conditions, you know exactly how you're going to feel exercising in those conditions, and ultimately you're going to know that you can finish exercising in those conditions. You don't have to rely on the weather being absolutely perfect on your goal race day. Best thing you can do when you get home, find some old newspaper, scrunch it up, stuff it in your shoes and let them dry. Not only will they dry quicker, they'll stop them from smelling. No one loves smelly shoes. All right, so we're done running here. Final couple of things I can recommend is having a towel in your car or close to your door at home, just so you can dry yourself off before you get too far. And if you're not at home, just some dry clothes, put on, make yourself feel a bit more comfortable. 
and get yourself home. Remember, you made the choice to come out, so embrace it, own it, and just enjoy the run. We'll see you guys soon.